Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome to living your juiciest life ever. Well, funnily enough, I actually created a video, or so I thought I did, but I don't think I pressed play, so it eventually just shut me out. So here we are on the beach, and the quandary that happened this morning, the questioning, the prayer, the moment by moment, aha, aha, aha. All we have is now, right now. As I was walking on the beach and watching my footsteps to see where I was going, I looked up and right then I saw a whale roll through the waves. I went, what incredible timing. I felt called to lift my head and there was the miracle. What if we listened that well? What if we did the work we needed to do to actually get how powerful we are? Why is it that we don't want to do it? Or we don't make the time for it? Or we say we don't have time for it? There goes the whale again. I'm sorry, I can't show you on this video. For me, I know, this morning listening to Neville Goddard, listening to Neville Goddard this morning and setting yourself up for your sleep at night by planting the seed from your conscious mind into your subconscious mind to get your subconscious mind to actually work on it. And I had this aha moment because when <laughs> Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about the fact that we recreate, we keep reliving the past, well, we keep reliving the past because we don't go to bed and set up our minds for the subconscious to take over to create a new mind for the next day, a new awakening, a new thing happening the next day. Ah, oh, and it's not that I didn't hear it before, but there's an awakening. There's an awakening at a new level all the time. So what are we, re we repeatedly listening to? And are we being consistent? That's the key to everything, that consistency. So what is the most powerful thing I can do today? Well, tonight I can actually put a sticky up, maybe five or six of them to remind me to set my mind up for the next day. To fill my mind with thoughts of where it is that I desire to go and feel as if it's so. And then here we go. The more we do it, the more it happens. We are called, we are called to be so great and so powerful. It is within us. And do we struggle with the work because we don't believe that it's so? Because we have been so indoctrined into the thinking that we are small and insignificant? We are not small and insignificant. We are amazing creation. We create every day, whether we know it or not. Whether we know it or not, we create every single day. So how about we bring more consciousness to that? So during the day, be more present in the moment, at night, before you go to sleep, before I go to sleep, to be in the space of feeling what it is like to experience and be where, who I want to be. Feel it. Feel it. See it. Grow the belief in it. Even if you don't believe it right now, with enough repetition, you begin to believe it. The more we activate our imagination, the more active our imagination gets. The more we direct our imagination, the more powerful we get. The more that we begin to live from spirit as opposed to the third dimensional world, the more we begin to get how powerful we are and the more in alignment the entire world and all of nature gets to be with us. Blessings on your day. Blessings on your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
the audio, the video. Oh my gosh, the things I could see from here. And because the camera is small, I couldn't show you. But the whales, more of them showed up as I began to film. Anyway, have an amazing, wonderful day. Be blessed and know that you are loved far more than you could possibly imagine. Bye for now.